First up, we have Trey Sermon. Over the last two years, the 49ers running backs have scored 57 touchdowns. It's a lot. Trey Sermon is or could be a league winner. You said, hold on, two years? Two years, 57 touchdowns. Who is scoring all those touchdowns? So you have, you have Tevin <laughs> Coleman, you have Raheem Mostert, Jeff Jared Wilson, McKinnon, like Jeff Wilson. <laughs> like how how the hell did they score that many? In that many 2020, they gained a combined 2,673 yards. Who <laughs> combined? Who 28 scores and 93 catches? That's very good. Okay, I'm just saying, the freaking 49ers running back, if that's one person, oh my good man. Oh. Between, oh, oh. between four seasons at Oklahoma and Ohio State, Sermon rushed for almost 3,000 yards on 455 carries and 26 touchdowns. Do you want to hear Ooh. the 49ers uh, schedule to end the season? Oh, please. Starting in week 11. So it's not even the end of the season. It's really like the second half. This this sounds like a David Montgomery thing from last year where it just kind of teed up and was just you were just salivating yes. about it. And, right? ev- and we told everybody go out and trade for David Montgomery. He's going to win your league. Guess what? David Montgomery won a lot of people their leagues. Starting in week 11 for the 49ers. Jacksonville, week 12. Uh, tasty. Minnesota. Very tasty. Week 13, Seattle. That's fine. Week 14, Cincinnati. That's tasty. Week 15, Atlanta. Oh. Week is 16. That in, is that in Atlanta? Uh, not sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because if that's in a dome, light it up. You You prefer domes for playoffs? Yeah, all the time. Although San Francisco, the weather's fine, but it is at home in San Fran, okay. which is fine. It's fine. Uh, at Tennessee, also warm weather, but that's I fine. think that's fine. Yep. And then championship week at home against the Houston Texans. Oh my God. With potentially no Deshaun Watson. We might, we might need to put, uh, Put some parental discretion on this web on this uh, podcast because that was not suitable for work. What's going to happen for those six weeks? That's going to be it's not six. That's going to be seven. great. And it makes it even better. It's seven freaking weeks. Oh, and Trey Lance will be starting. Like it's going to be it's going to be and nasty. Raheem Most, and Raheem, Raheem Mostert will be hurt by then. He'll be on IR after week three. <laughs> So in the first preseason game, Trey Sermon started. He played 10 of 12 first team snaps. He ran a route on eight of 10 dropbacks. Uh, he also subbed back in on a third and five after Wayne Gallman played the previous two downs. Is he the is he the passing <sighs> down back off the off the jump oh with Mostert God. out? You're gonna need to give me a cigarette here. This well, here, is. here's your cigarette to take you off the ledge. Uh, Trey Sermon missed week two with a very minor ankle injury. So he's a little banged up at the moment. But quite honestly, as a fantasy guy, especially one that does a little bit of analysis, I almost prefer that because when guys blow up the entire preseason, you know what happens? Their ADPs also blow up over the preseason. But Mostert is out as well. Um, the only thing I love more about Trey Sermon would be if if he if he was a keep if it was a keeper league. Yeah. Because all of his competitors are unrestricted free agents. Yeah. Next year. So even without it, I am I mean I have full confidence in Shanahan's ability to Like, if it came to it and he was splitting time, I fully believe that Trey Sermon will still be a startable, flex-worthy running back. Like, that offense can support two running backs. I have no doubts, no questions about it. 
Yeah, and I was just going to say, kind of some of Shanahan's guys are not in town anymore, right? Between Tevin Coleman and Jarek McKinnon, who they Gone. signed his first year there. So, and... Um, so just the fact that those two guys are gone, which were kind of the, the pet projects for Shanahan or like their yeah. guys, but you're going to tell me that, Hey, uh, cause even Mostert was kind of just like a flash in the pan guy. A couple of years ago, they signed him to the extension after having a, a really good playoffs. Um, cause he filled so in for McKinnon. Right. Um, and Tevin Coleman got hurt and all of a sudden Mostert was like their playoff running back sort of thing. So if you're going to tell me that Shanahan drafted his quarterback and his future running back in the same draft, um, I I like it because I trust him as an offensive coach, especially for running backs. And you just rattled off all the stats with those touchdowns and yardage. It's just trying to figure out who it is. So, I mean, hell, take both of them and you'll figure, like at least take, you know, it, are, are you against that strategy? So um, if you look at their ADPs currently, um, you can get them back to back rounds, right? Uh, so Raheem Mostert's going in round six. Um, Mostert's going at the end of round six. He's going as basically pick seventy, right? So you can you can get him later. Um, I uh, Sermon is going in the eighth. Sermon's going in the middle of the eighth. He's currently going as pick ninety, like. Or pick nine, yeah, between that and 90 and 92. Like, he, Sermon yeah. is going in the middle of the eighth. I would much rather have, and you, you can do it this way too. You know, last year with the Bills between Singletary and Moss, I just wanted whichever one was being drafted second. And that, mm-hmm. I think that strategy also could apply to the 49ers. You just want whoever's picked second. Um, but with Trey Sermon currently going in the eighth right now, I think that that's just absolutely ridiculous especially when you actually take a peek at his schedule and you see who he plays the last seven weeks of the season as he carries you on his back to the fantasy playoffs. So I am all about it. Yeah. So, so take both. If when in doubt, take both. That's a risky strategy, but if you can hit the 49ers running back and those are the only two they got, I, I don't love that strategy. But well, if Mostert's raging at the beginning and gets hurt and then Sermon comes in and cleans up at the end, it's fine. I'd rather take Trey in the eighth. I would I would I lean totally elsewhere agree. in the sixth, and then I would take Trey in the eighth right now. I, I totally hope agree. to God that his ADP doesn't climb. Well, if he's hurt and they're gonna hide him, uh running back 35 off the board is Trey Sermon. Um, so that is one hell of a sleeper to add to your point of hey these are somebody that can win you a league um and you're always looking for the later round running backs and you're better off taking a shot with a rookie um in the later rounds at the running back position than potentially taking a shot at an experienced running back 